So what's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. Today we're going to be talking about Call of Duty World War II Zombies and how some DLC 1 news is going down. We did get a new preview trailer. I'm going to be going through that, giving you guys a little bit more of a breakdown, a little more user-friendly breakdown. So drop a like on this video and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, anything at all, be sure to hit me up over on Twitter at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. Something else that's big and important in this video is weekly orders. Something that Call of Duty had brought to the limelight over on Twitter. And, you know, since they bring it up, I want to bring in the zombies portion of this because it's a little unfair on our end. So let's just go ahead and talk about what we know. DLC 1 is going to be happening first on January 30th. And that's in 2018 coming up. First on PS4, okay? The map itself hasn't been showcased a lot, but we got something, all right? So the Winter Siege event right now, mostly it's a weapon grind. You're getting as many armory credits as you can, fulfilling your orders in order to make that possible and getting weapons. But over in Zombies, there's nothing daily or weekly we can actually do. The MFFA Bureau has new recruits, and these are the new characters that we can unlock. And so that's pretty much the only grind we have in Zombies right now. You might disagree with this, but once you receive Master Prestige, Prestige 10, Rank 45, and beyond, you will not earn supply drops anymore. And where I'm at is Prestige 10 right now, so I want to wait till that's fixed if I want to rank up any more than that. I know it's double XP weekend, and that's going to end December 29th, so there's not much time left for this weekend of double XP for zombies. But what we're seeing in the DLC 1 preview teaser here is very minimal amount of the map itself. To be honest with you, it looks like a bunch of the multiplayer maps thrown together into one map and they've kind of zombified it out. I don't know quite what we're looking at here. This preview trailer is kind of all over and yeah, it does show a lot of fog rolling in. That wasn't funny by any means. I'm not sure if the creative director Camera Dayton thought that was funny. We got a buzzsaw. We've seen that in Raven the Redwoods. It was called the Smiley and they were showcasing some sort of special zombie that we haven't seen yet and they were talking about it voicing over what we were looking at right here which is a bombi i know you've seen it in the final reich many times they blow up in your face wham bam thank you ma'am the bombi itself is quite a bastard and it's returning in addition the wustler zombie is returning the guy with the bat that chases you you shoot him in the back it gets weak and he dies faster that guy is going to be returning, and I know he's a pain because they get two or three of them spawning in all the higher rounds, and it just sucks to deal with. It makes this game very unenjoyable. I don't know why they'd bring it back. Apparently, they're not quite listening to all our feedback, and that's what it appears to be like, and there's nothing more we can do except continue to give our feedback, and they have the option to listen or not. So that's where we're currently at right now on, in terms of DLC 1. Storyline wise, all we really know is that our characters currently got information on Straub's movement and he's moving to the North Sea in a German base that is going to be called the Darkest Shore. So that is the map and I don't know what to expect here. Honestly, the preview trailer really did suck and I'm kind of glad I'm buying this separate and not buying the season pass because I'm not sure what we're going to expect for DLC 2 and on and how much passion was really put into this mode. I got high hopes because I want to give them a chance. It's Call of Duty. They're supposed to be the best developers in the world and best zombie map developers. I mean, you can be the decider on that. I think the latest developments in Black Ops 3 mod tools will give you a run for your money, but over on Call of Duty's Twitter, new to Call of Duty World War II, make sure to pick up your daily, weekly, and special orders from the headquarters. Complete these tasks for XP boosts, supply drops, and more. Hashtag Call of Duty World War II. Now these orders are multiplayer based. This is something that doesn't include the zombies experience for Nazi zombies. They were stated, it was stated in the past that this would be included for zombies. You'd be able to accept uh, order here and go into zombies. It would force all players to do so if they were going to collect the reward. My question is, was it going to be zombie supply drops? Was that the initial plan? Why has that plan not been implemented at the current state? We're currently a month and a half, a month and some change out since the initial launch. Black Ops 3's coming into the mix with a little bit of winter action. That's right. Let's just take a look at the gameplay behind it, alright? I went and logged in. I wanted to check it out and what they're doing over there because it's right on topic 
with the orders and where we're at. We're going to take a look back into the past and see what was available in Black Ops 3. Did they have a daily mission? Did they have a daily order? Did they have a weekly order or mission? I got some interesting news for you guys. If you weren't around during Black Ops 3 with, God forbid you missed that season pass, it was badass. But under the message of the day options, they had a daily challenge. They had a reward as well. Very minimalistic reward. We could only get Liquid Divinium, very small increments. But there was a daily challenge in Black Ops 3. So when we go back into the history books and look at how this went down and how weekly orders could work in the upcoming future, it was noted in Black Ops 3 that we had a daily challenge. Now we didn't have a weekly challenge that wasn't available at the current time. Maybe it wasn't thought of or implemented specifically for zombies quite yet, but we did get something introduced moving into the next title, and that is Infinite Warfare Zombies. And they also included one on top of that, which was a daily active bonus, specifically granting season pass owners extra rewards. So there is something called bounties in Infinite Warfare Zombies. This by far was the best season pass experience we've had for all of Call of Duty Zombies. That's my personal opinion. I had the most growth on my channel, and I'm grateful for anyone who subscribed during that time moving forward. But they had their own menu for bounties, and I think this is something we should see for World War II Zombies as well. We've definitely come to a dry period. The time has come by pretty slowly. We're getting updates that are just making weapon tuning happening, and stabilization for, for the most part is the primary objective of getting to the next part of the season which will be in 2018 so I'm expecting another update probably around New Year's time if not New Year's then uh, probably very early January but right now Major Howard is the primary man for all of the orders that you can get you can get contracts where you'll lose armory credits so I don't recommend that but Major Howard is where we're pretty much promised to get these sort of challenges or daily orders, weekly orders from for zombies and they're just not incorporated yet you'll see all of the rewards right now currently since it's winter siege are winter supply drops the other ones are armory credits, social score or just regular supply drops but nothing for zombie supply drops it just hasn't been thought of or incorporated yet and as well next to your soldier dossier there's an orders tab that we can look at I feel like this could easily be incorporated into the notebook in-game for zombies or have its own menu we'll talk about that here in a second but there's daily and weekly orders that's I think that's just so important to have for the end game grind it's gonna keep people here and give them a reason to show up now down here is where I feel under soldier we should have an option for bounties back in the good old days in IW zombies we had a bounties option itself this menu was given directly for that reset which isn't incorporated into World War II Zombies. And I think this is something that Sledgehammer did fail on miserably. Absolutely a disaster for the endgame grind. I think this needs to be looked at ASAP because uh, people in Zombies are starting to get the itch. Looking back at the previous Zombies experience, Infinite Warfare Zombies, it was around the time of DLC 3 when we saw bounties being introduced. So I hope it's not that late in the game before Sledgehammer gets on board with this. I did make this video to kind of bring more attention towards the fact that the Zombies community is looking for daily and weekly challenges of our own. And if you guys have the nerve, put it in and help us out. That's exactly all we want and people will praise Sledgehammer for doing that in the long run. And the days of this being not here will seem very vague and a lot of people won't hate on the fact that this is a missing element because it'll be included for World War II Zombies and it's just going to enhance the experience overall so it's something that I highly support and I think Sledgehammer needs to get on board with this and on the road to DLC 1 this could help out the endgame grind so much so let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below I want to get some talk for the Zombies community and what we think is going to be the future of daily and the weekly grind for World War II Zombies. Are they just going to forget about this in the long run? This is something that I'm a little concerned about and I want to get as much exposure on it as I can. So drop a like on this video if you'd like to see daily and weekly bounties in World War II Zombies and subscribe. Join the notification squad. It really helps out the channel. Stay up to date with all my latest updates and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out.